A story that is positively Tampa Bay. It seems that your family is always there when you need them the most, and that is certainly true for a sister who needed a new kidney despite living on separate coasts from her other sibling. ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell shares their story. Leave it to sisters to always look out for one another. Just ask Carol Kenny and her older sister, Janet Hill. We see things the same way. You know, there's just so many nice things to say about her. And not long ago, Janet stepped up to the challenge for her family. About 29 years ago, Carol got a kidney from her mom due to kidney failure. I had a transplant and her kidney worked from day one. Never had another problem till probably about the last six months. Fast forward to recently, she started going through kidney failure for a second time. That led Carol, who lives in Florida, to begin treatment 12 hours a day at home for about four months. But without her knowing, Janet was looking into becoming her kidney donor. I just feel as though that it was just something that to be done without really, I guess, as far as, you know, having any, I didn't have any hesitation about it. Janet, who lives in California, went through all the testing and learned she was a match. She told me that she's been testing to be a donor and I like, what? Really? Oh my, I'm so excited. I think I was the one who was trying to you know, make sure she didn't get too overly optimistic because there was still testing to go. And all the way up you know, to the day before. Finally, earlier this summer. How are you doing? I'm okay, how are you? I'm great. The sisters went through a successful transplant surgery at HCA Florida Largo Hospital. I feel as though um, our mother is looking down, also smiling. Now Carol says she can regain her life again. If not for saving my life or, or keeping it from being cut shorter, she gave me back my life. Sisters separated by hundreds of miles now bonded beyond family. In Largo, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.